hello and hi to our youtube channel aptitude math learner so guys today we are having a very interesting question and that is two alloys contain zinc and copper in the ratio 2 ratio 1 and 4 ratio 1 so in what ratio the two alloys so one alloys in the ratio 2 ratio 1 and 4 ratio 1 in what ratio the two alloy should be added to get as a new alloy having zinc and copper in the ratio 3 ratio 1 so guys the thing you have to understand and that is the there are two alloys that is two alloys alloys so two alloys zinc and copper that is we take here a ratio b and the other alloy c ratio d so these are the ratio of zinc and copper in two different alloy so there is two alloy so these are two alloys and zinc and copper so this is zinc and this is copper in the first alloy and this is for the another alloy so here we are having the value of the first alloy containing zinc and copper that is 2 ratio 1 and for the another alloy we are having zinc and copper in the ratio that is 4 ratio 1 so here i hope that you have understood the question so the two alloys let be a ratio b is 2 ratio 1 and for the another c ratio d that is 4 ratio 1 so this a and c this is zinc z1 and this is zinc z2 in two different alloys and b and d these are copper so to find out so if you see in the question in what ratio the two alloy should be added so here we say let the two alloy be mixed in let the two alloy be mixed that is x and y so the two alloy are mixed in the ratio that is x ratio y so we have to mix so here we take only the ratio of zinc and that is a and c so 2 and 4 we alloy in the mixture together to get the ratio x ratio y so here that is 2 you can see 2x 2x of the first alloy so here we have just taken the quantity of zinc for quantity of zinc so hope you are getting and that is alloy of zinc in the total alloy that is 2 plus 1 plus so we have to add together so here as well as the quantity of zinc in the another alloy that is 4 y so we have to mix it in the x and y ratio that is 4 4 plus 1 upon x ratio y so in the alloy let the two alloy be mixed x and y so in the alloy x and y we have added together we are having the portion of zinc in of first of first alloy and the second alloy that becomes 
this so here we get let's take we get 2x 2x plus 3 plus 4y upon 5 so hope and this becomes x plus y so to solve out further this we get we take the lcm here of that is dividable by both 3 and 5 that is 15 and this portion it goes and multiply on the upper direction that is x plus y upon so what does it becomes we have just taken 15 and 15 5 za. 3 5 za, that is 15 and 15 multiplied by 2 and it becomes 10 x plus and 15 divided by 5 we get the answer 3 and 3 multiplied by 4 that is 12 y so this is only for zinc in the both two alloys so we are taking it out out so here it becomes this and let we take this as the equation one so we have taken it this portion in equation one so now we have to do an another thing when what ratio the two alloys should be c should be added to get as a new alloy having zinc and copper in the ratio three ratio one so for the new ratio so we have just mix the two alloy in such a condition to have the new ratio that is 3 ratio 1 so for this we have to do that is the alloy of zinc in the new so the alloy of zinc in the new alloy that is we get 3 so here we are having the new new ratio so you can see a new ratio a new alloy we are having that is in the ratio 3 ratio 1 so we take so here we have taken just for the zinc here as well as we take it for the zinc for the new ratio for the new alloy and that becomes 3 so this is new alloy and this is the ratio 3 ratio 1 is the ratio of new alloy that is mixed 3 3 plus 1 so we have taken the ratio of zinc and that becomes 3 upon 4 so now from equation 1 so this is equation number 2 so we have got two equation equation 1 and equation 2 so here from equation 1 and 2 so we get here the equation 1 that is this so we write 10x plus 12y upon 15x plus y that is what 3 ratio 4 so the zinc is mixed in such a portion that the, it becomes in the new ratio that is 3 ratio 4 so if we further solve it out we get cross multiply we get 4 10x plus 12y is equal to 3 and this goes upward and that is multiplied by 15x plus y hope you are getting it so if we further solve it out it becomes 40x plus 48y is equal to 3 multiplied by 15 is equal to 45 plus x plus 45 
y so both you have understood it till here so if we further solve it out it becomes 40x this is x and this is x minus 40x so 45x goes this side it becomes minus is equal to 45 45y and this y goes this side it becomes minus 48y so here we get the answer minus 5x is equal to minus 3y so minus minus cancels with each other so we get here 5x is equal to 3y and to bring it in the ratio form we get x and y becomes downward y is equal to 3 and 5 goes just below 3 so we have got our answer that is x ratio y is equal to 3 ratio 5 so the both the mixture both the alloy should be added in the ratio 3 ratio 5 so this is our answer and it could also be written in the form the two alloy which are mixed so here we have taken x and y and we mixed both the alloy and we got the answer that is 3 ratio 5 so this is another form of this so these are the same form and both are our answer so hope you have understood the question so if you like the method so please 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 subscribe our channel aptitude math learner to get more new question so thank you very much